Alright guys, we are back with Banished. This is the third tutorial. Um, this is a tutorial on food production. So as you can see, you start off with a pretty developed town. Um, I, I developed, but developed enough. So let's jump into it. There are many ways to produce food for the citizens of your town. Hunting, fishing, and gathering can be used to harvest food from the environment. Or you can clear the land and plant orchards, grow crops, and raise livestock. Before food can be produced, you'll need to construct buildings and create areas for food production. Start with a pasture for livestock. While the pasture is being built, you can place other buildings. A hunting cabin can be used to designate an area where hunters should search for wild game. Hunters need either open forest fields or forests nearby to effectively hunt. Okay. Um, R. Rotate your buildings again. Similar to hunters, gatherers search for food and collect search for and collect food that is grown in the forest. Select your gatherers hut. Farmers can work in a field and grow crops. To place one, select the crop field from the menu. Farmers can also work in an orchard that produces fruit and nuts. The crop field is currently disabled as indicated by the following icon. Select the crop field by clicking on it. To enable growth of crops, first you'll have to select a type of seed to plant. You can acquire more seed types by trading with merchants in the trading post. Select one of the crop types. Wheat. You'll need to assign farmers to work in the crop field. Increase the number of workers to three. In the spring, workers will plant seeds in the field and in the autumn they'll harvest the crops. You can direct them to harvest early by selecting harvest. After planting, the yield meter will show how mature the growing plants are and can be used as a gauge to determine how much food will be produced. You can disable or enable work at the crop field by toggling the work button. Like the crop field, an orchard will be disabled until you pick a type of tree to plant. Select the orchard. To get workers to plant trees in the orchard, first you'll have to select a type of tree to plant. You can acquire more tree seeds by trading with merchants at a trading post. Let's go with apple. You'll also need to assign more farmers to work in the orchard. Increase the total number of farmers to six. Farmers will plant trees and they will grow over time. It may take several years for the trees to produce fruit. Normally, farmers will harvest fruit in the autumn, but you can direct them to harvest the fruit early by pressing the harvest button. You can cut down all the trees in the orchard for wood, or when you want to produce a different type of fruit. You can disable or enable the work in the orchard by toggling the work button. After planting, the yield meter will show how mature the growing fruit is. Remember that the trees need several years of growth before they produce fruit. Select the pasture by clicking on it. To enable use of a pasture, first you'll have to select the type of animal to put in the pasture. You can acquire more animals by trading with merchants at a trading post. Select sheep. You'll also need to assign herdsmen to work in the pasture. Increase the number of herdsmen to two. If you want to move all the animals from this pasture into another, you can press the empty button. To do this, you'll have to create another pasture that can hold all the animals. If you want to split the herd order to increase the number of animals, you can press split button. You'll have to have space in the other pastures. You can disable or enable work by toggling the work button. If the pasture isn't being worked, the animals will continue to grow, but they won't produce as quickly. If there are too many animals in the pasture, the herdsman will slaughter them for meat. You can control how many animals are kept in the pasture by changing the value of this slider. This allows you to quickly gain meat from food if the supply runs low. Since the hunting cabin isn't complete yet, speed up time. Gonna jack the time all the way to ten times. Let's get this hunting cabin going, people. I'm ready to hunt. Kill some animals. Alright, click on the hunting cabin. Hunters will search the area around the hunting cabin in search of wild game. In addition to providing meat, hunting deer can provide leather, which can be used by tailors to make clothes. You can disable or enable work at the hunting cabin by toggling the work button. At any food producing location, you can control the maximum amount of food to produce. Once the amount of food and storage reaches the limit, the workers will cease working. Since the gatherer's hut isn't complete, let's speed up time again. Let's click on the gatherer's hut. Give you guys a better view. And zoom in over here. There we go. Gatherers will search the area of the building in search of food that grows in the forest. 
As long as there is a forest nearby, gatherers can be good choice as the first type of food production to use in a town as it provides a variety of foods quickly. Click on the fishing hut. Each building that produces good tracks how many resources are produced each year. Click on the production button to view resources produced. The current season display shows how many resources have been produced so far during the current year. Previous season display shows how many resources were produced the previous season for comparison. As the population grows, you'll need to expand food production and keep the citizens from starving. Producing a variety of food types will help keep the citizens happy and healthy. Let's play the next tutorial, blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys, that was the third tutorial for the game Banished, and it was a tutorial on how to produce food. So, we'll see you guys at the next tutorial.